Okay, today we are going to uh, do the third type of linear uh, template or equation, which is called point-slope form. So point-slope form, the template is y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. And so I always felt it was easier to understand a template with all those variables when I have an example that I can refer to. So here's an example of what a linear equation in point-slope form uh, would look like. So now we can understand what the variables mean and what they are specifically. So we know that m always represents the slope. So what is the slope in this specific example? The slope would be 3. So we see that we have replaced that with a 3. So I know that the slope of this line is going to equal 3. Now, the other things that we filled in for are, whoops, not that, I want that, is the point. So notice that I'm highlighting the variable and not the negative. Notice I didn't do the negative y. Because, and this is where it gets a little confusing, what I see in this example is the opposite of my y value. And what I see is the opposite of my x value. So when I look at this example, what I'm seeing is the opposite of what it is. This is the opposite of my y value. This is the opposite of what my x coordinate is. So when I try to pull, when I pull my point out, I have to recognize that that value is the opposite of what it is. So I look at my x, I see a negative 4, and I understand that in reality it's the opposite of that. I see a negative 6, so in reality it's the opposite. What I'm seeing is the opposite of my y value. So here is the important information that I've been able to pull from that example. And knowing the slope and a point, I am now able to graph that linear equation or that line. So I'm always going to plot my point first, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the y. I have a slope of 3. We know that slope is rise over run, so I have to convert it into a rational number. And when I see 3 over 1, that means up 3 and right 1. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, right 1. And uh, I've sort of gone off the graph, so I also can go down 3, left 1. And that will also get me to my point. Uh, when I'm dealing with slope and a point, I'm always going to graph 3 points. So it's very important. The only time you graph two points is when you are in standard form when you're pulling the x and the y-intercept. So this point is 3, 3. This point, as we know, is 4, 6. And this point is going to be 5, 9. And then I'm done. I've graphed my, two, my three points. I've labeled them. And I've drawn a line with arrows. So let's take this example. So this example, first thing is find the slope. That's the easiest. The slope is going to be 3 again. And my point, remember, I'm going to look at what's being added or subtracted to x, and I'm going to know that it's the opposite of whatever is being added and subtracted to x. So 4 is being subtracted, so I know my x value is absolute, the opposite of negative 4, which is 4. I look at what is being added and subtracted to y. I see a negative 2, and I know that my, my value is going to be the opposite of that. So I'm going to graph my point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And again, my slope is 3. They like 3 as a slope for some reason. 1, 2, 3, right, 1. 1, 2, 3, right, 1. I connect those dots. I write that. My first point is going to be 4, 2. My next one's going to be 5, 5. And then my next one's going to be 6, 8. Those are my three coordinates. 
So here we added a little flavor to it. So a couple flavors is number one, the slope. Slope is what is outside of the parentheses. It's the coefficient of that uh, x qu uh, quantity. So my slope is two thirds. And then my point, my point is going to be the opposite of negative one, which is one. And now this one's different. It's the opposite of five. So the opposite of five is negative five. So notice I'm always going to take the opposite value of whatever I see. Now my slope is two thirds. That means up two, right three. Remember that slope is equal to rise over run. And when you rise, you can go either up or down. And when you go up, that's a positive value. When you go down, that's a negative value in the numerator. And when you run, you can go right and left, right? You can run left and right. And right is going to be a positive. Left is going to be a negative in the denominator. So in this case, we have positive 2. So positive is up 2. And positive 3. Positive would be right 3. That's how I get the up to right 3. So I'm going to plot that point 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. So I go to that point, and now I'm going to use the slope up to right 3, up to right 3. And the coordinates are uh, that is 1, negative 5. That is going to be 2, 3, 4, negative 3, 5, 6, 7, negative 1. And then I'm done. All right, let's take these. Take a second. Look at each of them. You can pause the video. Find out what the slope and the point is for each three of these equations. When you're ready, unpause it. Okay, so the slope in the first one is going to be 2. The point is going to be 2, comma 2. The slope for the second one is going to be 2. And the point is going to be 3, comma, positive 4. Slope for the third one is going to be 2. And the point is going to be 4, comma, 6. So those are pretty straightforward. Now, let's really test ourselves and see if we understand. We've got a little bit different. Uh, problem one, two, and three are pretty straightforward, but four and five are gonna give you a little bit of a thinking. It'll make you things that make you go, hmm. Good, so pause the video. When you have written the point and the slope for each, all five of those, uh, push play again. I'll give you a couple seconds. So the point on the first one is going to be 4, 6, and the slope is going to be 3. The point on the second one is going to be negative 3, negative 1, and the slope is going to be negative 2. Number three is going to be negative one, positive four, with a slope of negative one half. And this is where it gets interesting. The point on number four is going to be two comma zero. And it's zero because what's being added and subtracted to y? Nothing. So that is my y value. And then my slope is going to be three fourths. Let's look at number five again. Number five what's being added or subtracted to my x? Nothing. And then my y value is, is my traditional way. And now the slope is going to be 2. And that's a little bit tricky. So that's the coefficient of that. And something that we have to keep in mind, um, there are some interesting... So when we see y equals 3 times the quantity x minus 4, and I know my slope is 3, and my point is going to be 4 comma 0 because really what we see here is that's y plus 0 equals 3 times the quantity. Right? That's what we're thinking when we see that. 
So when we see that equation, that's why my y value is zero. And then on the other flip side of that is when I see the equation y minus four equals, um, oh, we can say, you know, uh, we'll just say x. So there's a couple tricky things. My slope is equal to one and my point is going to be zero comma four. And the reason why is because what's being added and subtracted to x? Zero. And technically the coefficient of x at that point is one. So those are some of the more tricky ones. So let's take this all together and let's see, it will say graph the linear equation in point slope form. And that's gonna look like this. They'll give you an equation, it'll say y minus two equals negative one half times the quantity x plus four. So they'll want you to graph this equation. We see that it's in point slope form. So we're gonna pull out that, imp that important information. I'll give you, pause the video right now, graph that one, and then uh, push play when you're ready and I'll explain, uh, we'll check our answers, see if your work looks like my work. Okay, so. First of all, the slope is negative one over two, and then my point is gonna be negative four, positive two. So I'm gonna always plot my point first, negative four in the x, two in the y, one, two, three, four, one, two. That gets me to here. Now my slope is negative one, so that means down one, because it's rise up and down. Negative means down and then my run is gonna be positive two, which means right two. So from this point, I'm gonna go down one, right two, down one, right two. I'm gonna connect those dots, put arrows on my line, and now I'm gonna label negative four, two. That is gonna be negative two, one. And then we have the origin as my third point. All right. Hope that helps. Uh, come and see me if you need some, if you have questions.